Okay, we're going to make this part look like this. So I just deleted the features in the last one, or you can reopen it. Make sure you save this to your own folder when you're done. So before you delete them, save it, and then make sure after you delete it, change the name so you don't save over the top. This one here is a demo on the variable fillet. So we're going to use the variable fillet option in the pop-up window. And the object I'm going to grab is this edge. When I grab that edge, the whole, this curve and this line get picked up because I'm in tangent. We're going to create a cubic type of variation. And the control points right now, I have two selected. If I want, I can hit this little clock button over here and I can remove this one. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I could remove this one. Change this radius to 0.3. Tab. Click in this field here or click on here so it knows I want to grab another control point. And I'm going to grab this end over here. So I'm controlling this at 0.3 and I'm going to transition this one to 0.06. So if I double click this, I can change that to 0.06. And what it's going to do, it's going to create a transition along the top that goes from 0.3 and mathematically will calculate this out to transition to 0.06. I'll hit preview, select OK. That's what I want you to do for the top radius. For the bottom radius, I want you to do something similar. So you're going to do this on that side as well, on the other side for practice. And then you're going to do the bottom two and a different, whoops, a different technique using the variable fillet. The cr curve we're going to create is this edge. <clears throat> Tangent is on, so it follows all the way through. Cubic, we're going to use the same one. And you know what? Let's go with linear on the bottom. I'll see if you're watching the videos or not. So I'm doing linear ones on the bottom. And control point. <clears throat> I'm going to grab this edge. No, that's not going to work. <clears throat> oh, I just did the undo. Back to variable fillet. Grab this edge, tangent, and change this to linear. For control point, actually, I'm going to change this to point 0.3 before I go any further. <clears throat> I'm going to make sure control point is highlighted, and I'm going to grab that point right there, that index there, that vertice, and I'm going to grab another vertice right here. And I'm going to double click this one and change it to 0.06. And just for kicks, I'm going to change this one here to 0.2. And I'm going to change this one here to 0.25. <clears throat> so you can see if I wanted to, I can create a transition and control the radius as I go by selecting vertex and points. So in those very points there, I'm controlling the radiuses. To maybe I want it to be a little bit bigger radius here before it transitioned down. All right, and then you finish this up by going to model, <clears throat> shell, one thirty seconds of an inch. Okay, of course yours will be complete on the other side, and you will shade your fillets something different than what I have here. <clears throat> All right, so again, on the top, we control 0.3 to 0.06. Let the computer figure out the transition. On the bottom two, we're going to go 0 0.3, 0 0.25, 0 0.2, and then all the way down to 0.06. We're controlling the transition with a linear type fillet versus a cubic type fillet on the top. Shell it out 1 seconds of an inch and that will complete this demo. You can go on to the next demo after this.